Hi, what's up everyone? This is Lauren for NextGen and in this video I'll explain the technique for effectively using the speed booster in combination with the Shine Spark in Metroid Dread to solve these very clever Shine Spark challenges that Mercury's team put into the game. So first things first, to understand how to properly use the Shine Spark you need to understand speed boosting. Samus will keep her speed as long as you go forward. The only way to turn around is to bounce off of walls, like I'm doing over here. If you shoot, the sequence breaks. If you stop, the sequence breaks. And if you turn around, the sequence breaks. So it is important that you keep going forward. What I suggest is that you find a nice open space, such as this shuttle location, to practice running and bouncing around the walls. Now these are some techniques you need to know. If you press the left or right trigger once, L or R, you can slide and afterwards you can keep on running, like this. If you double tap the trigger, you can even go into the morph ball. If you tap again, you can go out of the morph ball and continue. As long as you don't lose your momentum, you can keep that speed, so keep that in mind. Now once you nailed that down, you can do your shine sparking. If you are going fast, pressing down on the analog stick will store the speed energy within Samus, like this. Now sometimes you are not precise enough and it will register as left or right instead. So really try to practice and get this down. Again, find a nice place like this shuttle room over here to practice activating the shine spark. When you have that energy, you have exactly 5 seconds to do something useful with it. That's the amount of time you are getting to charge and aim at your speed boost blocks. Within those 5 seconds, you can walk around, you can jump sideways, you can slide and shoot, etc. However, once you hold B and then point in the direction in which you want to charge, Samus will release the energy and charge in the direction that you are pointing. This can be up, down, left or right and even diagonal like you can see over here. You can even do this in morph ball form and shoot any way you like. A lot of players are having issues with this specific one on Kataris. So I'll briefly describe the whole sequence over here. First, you charge through the door. The problem that many players have is that in order to get over this ledge, they are not high enough over here. So what you need to do is hug the wall a little bit. And don't bounce off immediately so you can get some height. Then Samus will get over the ledge over here. Again, keep the momentum and bounce off the wall. Then drop down and store the energy. Now screw attack jump to the platform above and activate the shine spark. Now before I end this video, I just wanted to say that you can see how to do all these shine spark challenges in my other video. And just before you go, please keep in mind that you, the viewer, will always be my personal spark that shines bright. So if you feel the same way, please hit that subscribe button and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.